Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters, and debunkers. These images represent what we are told to believe that we live upon. A physically impossible scenario that can only be imagined and illustrated. It's not science, it's not physics to have us believe that we can do the physically impossible and stick to the outside of a spherical Earth as illustrated here. As you can see, none of these images are real. They are all created from people's imaginations. This isn't science. This is storytelling. Okay? There are no real pictures of the globe Earth because the globe simply doesn't exist apart from in our imaginations. And it's not science. Of course, what we are told to believe in is uh, the theory of how gravity is created. Gravity just means weight. But we are told to believe that our weight is caused or created by the spherical mass of the imaginary globe Earth. It's complete nonsense. It's not science. Let's have a look at what uh, how science is defined. This is the Collins Igni English uh, Dictionary definition of science. Science is the study of nat the nature and behavior of natural things and the knowledge that we obtain about them. Knowledge, not belief, okay? Accountable noun. A science is a particular branch of science such as physics, chemistry, or biology. Accountable noun. A science is the study of some aspect of human behavior, for example, sociology or anthropology. And it is an interesting aspect of the human behavior that we can study when it comes to talking about the flat earth and the belief in the globe earth. Here's some more. Science. The systematic study of the nature and behavior of the material and physical universe based on observation, experiment, and measurement. And the formulation of laws to describe these facts in general terms. Okay, Measurement. See, there is no um, mention of the word calculation. Measurement of the physical universe or our physical world, okay? Observations and experiments to measure, measurement, not calculate, okay? Very important to be clear about the definition here. So, uh, we also have the, the science is also the knowledge so obtained or the practice of obtaining it, okay? How do we get this knowledge? Through practical examples and practical experiments okay so we need to have practical measurements and experiments to prove any hypothesis and theories and the formulation of laws thereof okay here's another one in american the state or fact of knowledge knowledge again not belief not theories not hypotheses but knowledge Systemized knowledge derived from observation, study, and experimentation carried on in order to determine the nature or principles of what is being studied. Okay, I'm specifically referring to the idea of being on a globe and the physical impossibility of sticking to it because of our definition of gravity. Again, gravity just means weight. How that is... Uh, what the principles of how that is defined, how it's determined, is simply a measurement. Okay, so it goes on. All right, so let's have a look at um, what the definition of natural science is. The sciences collectively that are involved in the study of the physical world and its phenomena, including biology, physics, chemistry, and geology, but excluding social sciences, abstract or theoretical sciences, such as mathematics and applied science. Okay, be clear here. Okay, natural science is the study of the physical world. It does not include 
mathematics and applied sciences or theoretical sciences. Okay, natural science is what we can prove and observe and study and test with measurable proof in our physical world. It is not mathematical models and extrapolations or applied sciences. Okay, in American, the systemized knowledge of nature and the physical world including zoology, botany, chemistry, physics, and geology. Okay, again, there is no mention of the theories, the abstract mathematical concepts used to describe what we are led to assume is our physical reality living on a spinning ball earth. We know that this is physically impossible. So the only thing you can do is uh, have ab abstract mathematical concepts. But let's have a look at what the Newton actually is, which is used to describe gravity. Here we have, uh, wait, uh, we can convert anything, convertme.com, okay? And we're going to look at how to convert weight and mass units instantly, okay? So we have ton, and we, here, here we have a kilogram. If we plug, plug in one kilogram, we get... 9.8 newtons okay on the surface of the earth it says in brackets based on the assumption that uh, gravity becomes less as you get further away from the imaginary globe earth so we can see here that the the newton is uh, just a conversion a conversion of the kilogram no different to any other conversion into uh, pounds stone ounces you see here, uh, one kilogram is, is equal to two pounds, uh, or 3.274 ounces, or 2.2 pounds. Okay, that's all gravity is. Okay, so we need to clear up this confusion about what gravity is. There is no need to talk about acceleration and sticking to the surface of the earth. It is just nonsense, because the Newtons are just a conversion of kilograms into another unit, which is almost 10. So basically you just have one kilogram and uh, that is almost equal to 10 newtons. And how did this figure come about? 9.8? Simply because it is the rate of acceleration which uh, objects of density appear, uh, can be measured to uh, accelerate through the air. Of course we are led to assume that they are pulled towards the Earth's surface, pulled towards the center of the globe Earth's mass. That's not science. That's not a proven fact. It's just a mathematical model, a conversion. Okay, so the Newton is derived from the rate of acceleration, 9.8 meters per second per second, at which a mass will fall through the less dense medium of air. That is it. And we already had that weight of a kilogram. It used to be called pounds, which was 2.2 uh, pounds per kilogram. And so it goes on. You've got ounces and you've got all sorts of other measurements. You also have, um, for example, in the Indian units, they've got candy maud and all these other things. Okay, the Japanese have their weight system. The Chinese have their weight system. Okay, so... Uh, this, even the Thai, Thai units have their weight system. And this is based on gold, the weight of gold. Okay, one baht. Okay, a baht in, in weight. Uh, okay, salung is the coin, is a, is a coin. Um, again, okay, this is all based on uh, weight. The, the, the weight of something measured. Nothing else in the medium of air. That's it, okay? So understand, there is no need for any confusion. And there is no need to assume that uh, the, the idea of gravity, the theory of gravity associated with the globe Earth, has anything to do with anything other than being a conversion of weight. And measurements are things that we have decided upon as a universal way of... Uh, it's a language, just like uh, we say hello, uh, goodbye, and uh, you speak to someone else and we know what that means. So kilograms and, uh, is a universal weight measurement that's, that's used. It's handy, but 
All it is is relative density measured in the medium of air. Something more dense than the medium of air will fall. There is nothing else you need to imagine or perceive or think about unless you want to try and assume that we're on a globe Earth floating around in the vacuum of space, whizzing around the sun. Another theory on theories on theories. These are not science. So anyone who comes along and tells a uh, someone investigating the flat Earth or a truth seeker that they don't understand science is wrong because if you're accusing flat earthers of not understanding science or physics, I'm afraid you don't understand the definition of science. Science is our physical measurement of the physical world around us. Anything else is just abstract. So there's a difference between science and mathematics. And this weight conversion is just mathematics. One kilogram to 9.8 newtons. It's just mathematics. The weight doesn't change. The principle, the reason why a mass falls to the earth doesn't change. And things falling to the earth doesn't dictate in any way, shape or form, the dimensions or the shape or anything else to do with the earth and where it is. It's simply the way it is. And we found a way to measure it. That's mathematics. It's not necessarily science. Thank you very much.